Okay, so this week we saw oil take a bit of a slide. We saw the Canadian dollar um, follow suit with it a bit. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> one of the things we're seeing right now in the marketplace is, is questions as to how much of an impact the mortgage rules are having mm -hmm. um, versus how much of an impact weather is having in a lot of respects. I mean, it's really difficult to go outside and look at homes in, you know, minus 20 whiteout snowstorms. Yeah. So, so we're, we're trying to gauge that right now. I know that CREB had um, a big decline in sales uh, in February. CARA re released a report. They actually went up in sales in January, which was interesting. CREB did as well just a hair. But so in February, though, we saw um, an 18% decline in sale price, in, not in sale prices, <laughs> not, uh, yeah, for not that, inventory. In, in sale volume. But um, actually, the inventory came down a bit, so it held our absorption rates quite steady. So the mm -hmm. supply came down, and so did the demand, and we're going to see that in the numbers here. But it's too early to tell to see the overall impact of this. And I know a lot of realtors are, mm -hmm. are looking for nice weather on the horizon because that's something that we're going to be doing. Now, just a quick little mm -hmm. um, setup here. We are going to be, after this, after this class, we speak to you guys in this session as realtors. Yes. Sorry, after this class, after this... Uh, Meeting. Um, after this meeting, thank you. Um, we're going to be producing a consumer-facing market stats video. Just short, same thing, like five minutes. Mm -hmm. And we're going to give an overview of the markets, but speaking to your clients for solutions about what they should be doing. And that's going to be a lot more shareable than what we speak to you guys about and how you should be managing your business. So typically, mm -hmm. after our CIR live meetings on our CIR Facebook page, we'll share, we'll edit out this section that we're talking about right now and we'll post yep. that. And then you guys will share that with people. But moving forward, we're not going to be sharing this specific segment. We're going to be sharing a segment that you actually haven't seen before because we're going to film it after that. And that's going to be the client-facing one. And we're also going to be, what I'd like to do is I'd also like to attach that um, in an email that we send out to everybody a week, every single week, so that you guys have access. And that's going to be a fantastic, fantastic shareable um, bi-weekly consumer-facing piece um, for your clients. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Oh, well, one, well, more, one more point that I just feel like we should mention. Um, and I'm going to be sending out some information on this, this, this later on this week. Um, but I think it would be remiss to not talk a little bit about what's happening in BC, um, real estate-wise. Um, yeah. That's affecting a ton of people. And a, re, and a report actually came out on Saturday talking about what that's going to do for a lot of people in Alberta who have oh, planned to spend yeah. their retirement. So obviously there's the new um, vacation property tax that BC is putting on. It hasn't been spread to all the different uh, communities yet. So for example, Panorama and Invermere right now aren't included in that, but it's estimated in the next four or five years that they will be. But apparently there's a lot of people in Alberta that were planning on retiring. So you just think of the people who own now and are going to have a tax um, put in place, but all the people who are planning on, you know, buying something in Kelowna, Vancouver Island, retiring there, there's a lot of people whose retirement plans are being completely kiboshed on that. So if you know any of your clients who have been talking about that, it might be a good idea from a real estate perspective to reach out and just have a little bit of a conversation to see if how those goals might change with them or to a bit of a financial analysis at the very least. Sylvan Lake is going up. Sorry, they're, they're doing construction here. Yeah, Sylvan here Lake is going up. I, I, just heard, I just heard like sand end up on our roof in here. They're doing construction next door. And I heard like something come through and I'm like, I hope our roof doesn't collapse. Me it. too. Um, okay, so besides the roof of collapsing, but, but yeah, I mean, people are gonna need to look for other vacational alternatives. And just to clarify what's happening, um, and don't quote me on the dates of these changes, but BC is putting a tax on anybody that doesn't file their income tax in uh, BC and they own property there. So you live in Alberta, you don't file income tax in BC, you file in Alberta. And BC is putting a tax if you're a property owner on it. So the first year is going to be 0.5%, I think, for 2018 here. And then... Um, it's going up to 2%. And then it's going to go up to 3%, oh, even. 3%. Um, 2 or 3%. Um, Which so is a ton of money. So if you have a property worth $300,000, condo or something like that, then you're going to be paying $1,500 tax on it the first year. And then you could be paying up to $9,000 yeah. um, a year in addition to all the other yeah. tax that you have. Which is crazy because last year when we were in BC at a conference, the amount of Albertans purchasing property in the Kelowna, Okanagan, Asoya Sri, just like that is where we go to purchase property. Yeah. So that's cr that's crazy. I mean, and one one of the things to start even considering is you know we, there's a lot of Canadians right now that will purchase property in Nevada or Arizona, and the speculation is that we are going to be taking a ton of our money out of country to going to those places right now um, because we it's just BC is going to become completely unaffordable. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, okay, well, let's take a look at the hard numbers here. 
Um, so price of oil slipped a bit. So we're sitting at uh, 6141. Uh, that should be a down arrow on there. Uh, we'll send out the real slide uh, that's got that arrow on it. And the Canadian dollar also slipped a bit, sitting at uh, 77 61 cents US. Again, number of listings just slightly down. Metro Calgary at 5,409 and Red Deer um, basically even at 590. Yeah, and because we saw the inventory go down, that's actually uh, bolstering our uh, months of inventory numbers. So in the Calgary market here, uh, Calgary months of inventory, uh, green numbers across the board, 4.43 months overall. That's still a slightly into a seller's market. Single family homes, balanced market, 3.44 months of inventory. Condos, 6.26 months of inventory. Obviously, a uh, big time buyer's market there right now. In Okotoks, our absorption rate is 3.88, Airdrie 3.71, Cochrane 7.14, Strathmore 6.55, Century 3.88, Chestermere 5.19, Red Deer 5.41. Yeah, this is, this is the activity we've seen in Sundry here is actually um, something that we, we don't normally see. That's a very, very low number mm -hmm. uh, for Sundry. Um, and benchmark price? Yeah, so our benchmark price for Calgary is $434,300, so up slightly from $432,300. And new this week, we're adding in not the benchmark price for um, Red Deer, but we are adding in the average sales price. So average sale price right now in Red Deer, so single family homes, um, $351,591,000, and condos, $228,982. Now a quick Word on this, uh, we looked at a bunch of different ways to pull this average price because Kara doesn't share the data quite the way um, that I'd like to see it in as current. Or as anybody would like to see it. Yeah, it's a, um, so we got to kind of pull these stats manually, which is fine, easy to do. Uh, but we are looking back 90 days. If you look back 60 days or 30 days, what ends up happening is that um, every single month, every 30 day segment from there on in, the numbers just fly around. Like mm -hmm. we're talking, every month is a, uh, is a nine to $10,000 change in average price. And that's not the way it should be. Right. So the prices don't move that much. So we're doing a rolling 90 day average on that. So that's uh, uh, for those of you in Red Deer, um, that's what the market is doing there. 